मॉडलस नाउ इन केस ऑफ मॉडलस इक्वेशन ऑलवेज नो वन थिंग दैट मॉड ऑफ एक्स इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू एक्स इफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस एक्स इफ एक्स इज लेस देन जीरो ठीक है और इवन आई कैन से दैट वेन इट इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज एक्स नाउ अगेन हियर इन दिस केस फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइस ए मॉड ऑफ थ्री That is always equal to थ्री Even mod of minus थ्री it is basically nothing but minus of minus थ्री which is equal to थ्री Mod of any number is always positive because generally the स्टूडेंट who are not from the engineering background they ask a question that how the mod of x can be negative. So you need to explain with the help of the example that mod of minus थ्री is actually थ्री but it is written in this way minus of minus थ्री which is equal to थ्री Similarly, if I move forward here, even if I say mod of x plus three is equal to eight, so if mod of x plus three is equal to eight, can I say that the x plus three, it is basically that is nothing but that is equal to plus minus eight. Okay. All of them are because of mod will always get two values. One of them is plus, other one is negative. So x is nothing but that is equal to plus minus eight minus three. So we can say that the x is equal to five or minus eleven. Now the next point is how to solve this modulus equation. So for example, here we can say x plus three is equal to eight. So that can be solved in this way. That is five and minus eleven. Or can I say uh, this equation is quite similar in this way? That mod of x plus three equal to eight. So if I equate here x plus three equal to zero, we'll get x equal to what? Minus three. So now I'm saying that mod of x plus three equal to eight. So basically from this point, I had to take, I had to cover a distance of eight in the right hand side or in the left hand side. ठीक है. So from minus three, if I cover a distance of eight on the right hand side, so minus three plus eight, I'll get this as a five. And this gap is of eight. And if I am covering in the left hand side, I get minus three minus eight, which is minus eleven. And this distance is also. Eight. So the two solutions are nothing but five and minus eleven. And remember, this is extremely helpful uh, when you get a, a some difficult question. We'll just discuss right now. Say, I'll take some other another example also here. For example, if I say we need to solve the equation like this one, mod of x plus three plus mod of x plus five or x plus five, le lete, which is equal to let's say fifteen. Okay, if we have to solve this equation. Now again, there are two different methods. Okay, one of the method that is extremely lengthy. Okay, that we will consider uh, what will happen if this is positive, this is positive. The second case, if this is negative, this is negative, and the third case, if this is positive, this is negative, and the fourth case, if this is negative and this is positive. So you get the four different equations. You solve these four equations, and then you get the answers. The other way is what we can see here. On a number line, find out what are the critical points here. Here, x plus three. So here, my critical point is nothing but that is minus three. And here, the point is x plus five. So here, my critical point is minus five. Okay. And the distance between minus three and minus five, that is right now, is two. So assume here that there are two persons A and B. Okay, these are two persons A and B, and together A and B has to cover a distance of 
meter or let's say 15 kilometer. Okay. So how they can cover together a distance of 15 kilometer? Okay. A is at this point and the B is at this point. Now what are the different possibilities? One of the possibilities that B will go to A. When B will reach here, B had actually covered how much distance? That is 2. Okay. So the total distance they have to travel together is 15. But B had already covered 2. So the remaining distance is 15 minus 2, 13. Okay. Now A and B are at this point. Now they will start together from here in this direction. Now together they had to cover a distance of 13. So can I say each one of them will cover a distance of 6.5. That is 13 by 2. So A will cover 6.5 as well as B will cover 6.5. So together they will cover 6.5 into 2 which is equal to 13. So add 6.5 in minus 3. Okay. So minus 3 plus 6.5 I will get my one of the solution which is nothing but 3.5. And this particular gap is of 6.5. So this one of the solution of this equation is nothing but x equal to 3.5. The another case, right now we had moved B from here to here, if we move A from this point to this point, okay. when A will go from here to here, A will cover 2 kilometer. So now A and B are at this particular point and together now they had to travel a distance of 13 in this direction. So if together they had to travel a distance of 13 in this direction, so can I say individually they had to travel a distance of 6.5? I will divide 13 into parts because they are traveling together here. So A and B had to cover a distance of 6.5 into 2. I will get that. I will get this as a 13. But here they will cover a distance of 6.5 in the negative directions. Okay. So minus 5, minus 6.5, I will get it is nothing but minus 11.5. So the other solution is nothing but that is equal to x equal to minus 11.5. So this is the answer for this particular equation which is x plus 3 mod of x plus 3 plus mod of x plus 5 which is equal to 15 here. I hope that this is clear to all of you. And similarly, even there are three terms like mod of x plus 3 plus mod of x plus 5 plus mod of x plus 7 equal to any constant term, we can follow the same procedure here. Now, next thing in the modulus equation is the graph of mod so let's discuss what are the different graphs of the modulus equation okay. the first case the graph of y is equal to mod of x so the graph of y equal to mod of x is is nothing but it is in this form and this is my origin this is x axis this is y axis so the graph of y equal to mod of x this is the standard graph take care it which is in a v shaped form if i say y is equal to mod of x minus 1 So always remember one thing, so this is y is equal to mod of x and from here I need to subtract 1. So if I subtract 1 here, so can I say that each and every point will be shifted by 1 unit in the downward directions? So the same graph will be plotted here but instead of starting from origin, it will start at minus 1. So my graph is like this one.
I hope that this thing is clear. The graph of this is minus 1. Now, next thing, if I say y is equal to mod of x plus 1. Now, when I say y is equal to mod of x plus 1, in this case, I will get a graph like this one. Always remember that if in any function, if I am adding 1, each and every point will be shifted by 1 unit in the upward direction.